Hello and welcome to tutorial number 41 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net programming tutorials and this tutorial is going to cover how to log into a website using document.getElementById now we're not actually going to send a request to the website what we're going to do is use document.getElementById to find the login form and then to find the button and fill it in and click the button so um, for this tutorial we're going to use Yahoo so for this tutorial you will need a Yahoo account and a basic HTML understanding now if you don't have the basic HTML understanding then you can still probably do it it just depends like if you if you get it you get it if you don't you don't okay so again well also sorry um, I'm probably going to like rush this video a little bit because I've recorded this twice now and it's been like 12 minutes long and it's really pissing me off so this, this is like the third time I've recorded this now, so sorry if I rush it. And, well, let's not waste any more time. Um, create a new project and the name website login application. Okay. <coughs> and let's just make this a little bigger. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is two labels. So add two labels first label is going to say username and the second label is going to say password and now add two text boxes the first one is going to be for a username and the second one is for a password okay now click on the second text box and go to the bottom of the toolbox Oh, sorry the properties here and where it says use system password car and it says false click the drop down and hit true okay now you've done that we're going to need to add our first button and we're going to change this to navigate and add a second button whoops what did I do wrong there right first button text navigate right, second button text as log in So with this, just let me um, even it out. Okay, now the last thing we need to add is a web browser because this is how we're going to be logging in. So add the web browser and we're going to start coding. So you should have your username text box, password text box, navigate button, login button, and your web browser. Okay, so to start off, just double click the navigate button so we can st type our code for this now all this is going to do is navigate to the Yahoo login page so just type web browser one dot navigate and then in brackets and quotations go to the Yahoo login page http login dot yahoo dot com so I'm going to copy this and paste that in there okay now when's that when that is navigated we want to use this login button now we're going to start learning the document docker element by ID so um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a text well, a text field on this on this page which is this is the first one yahoo id and we're going to get it by document.getElement by id so we need to type first of all document.getElement oh sorry whoops scratch that the type web browser one dot document dot get element by id and in brackets and quotations we type our id now to find the ID we're going to right click the page and click view source and if you scroll down it'll be here somewhere here we go it says input name login ID username now we want to take the name and not the ID we're going to use the name here so the name is login for the username text field so copy that go back to your um, with your basic window and paste it in here now after we have that we're going to type we're going to um, give it a value we'll set a value inside this text box we'll type dot set attribute and in brackets we type in quotations value and then comma and then now we want to say the value we want to give it and in this case since it's the username we're going to say text box one dot text and the brackets so what this is going to do is it's going to get the element by ID login which is the username text field and it's going to set the attribute as textbox1.text 
which is this text box right here. Okay, now next thing we want to do is do the same, but for the password field. So we're going to say web browser one dot document dot get element by ID, and in brackets and quotations, we need to find the password field. Now, this is just underneath the username one here. It says input name equals pass wd short for password. So copy that and paste this into here. And you should know how to do this because you just went over it then. Type dot set attribute in brackets um, value and comma and then text box to that text because that's our password text box. Okay, now we have we've programmed this to go to the login text area and set the value as text box one and the password and set it to text box two. So let's just quickly debug this and have a go. Okay, we'll just put username is test, password is test. Um, we'll hit navigate, navigate to the page and hit login and you'll see it puts the text box values as test and test but now we um, we have a problem um, we want it to actually press the button without us doing anything so all we need to do it's going to be the same as document get element by ID we're going to get the ID of the button and then we're going to use invoke member to click it so again web browser one dot Doc, oh sorry, um, spell mistake there. Dot document. Whoops. Web browser. One dot document dot get element by ID and in brackets we need to find the button's ID. So if we go back to the source, um, it's down here a bit. It's let's see. For well, some reason, the value is it says input type equals submit id dot save name dot save. For some reason it's dot save. Well, we're going to just use that anyway. So for the name type dot save, and then dot set no not that set should be going to use dot invoke member, and in brackets and quotations click, and that's going to get the button which is save and invoke member click means it's going to click the button let's debug this so I'm gonna type I made an account let me see if I can remember it it was computer teach me and password secret login and hopefully this should log in yep there we go it's clicked the button and it's logged in so that was just a little tutorial on how to use document.getElement by ID to log into a website. If you have any questions about this, then please leave a comment. If you have any um, suggestions or requests, leave a comment. And please rate this video and subscribe. Thanks.